I'm gonna take the mic out too because I can't really see the screen down here. My eyes are that good. Is this up for 15 seconds too? Okay. Okay. So I grew up in Eugene, went to college in Eugene, moved to LA right out of college for 15 years, and then moved to Bend about three years ago. And I get asked all the time, what are like tips and adjustments that you need to make moving from Southern California to Bend? Um, the first thing I really had to change was my attitude. <laughs> um, Oh shit, it already switched. SoCal attitude, <laughs> aloof. If you saw the last slide, pulling a Polanski, that's when an older guy dates a really young girl. Um, but my bend attitude adjustment was that I need to smile and trust people, which I really didn't do at all when I first came here. Uh, SoCal style, shout out to Erica, who's wearing an awesome fedora tonight. Your feet will always hurt because you're wearing heels all the time. Um, it's all about the brand, very different. Well, not so different from bend. And of course, now this is the slide that's gonna take forever. Okay. Megan gets major props for having great bend style. Shopping, not really a competitive sport here. Hats actually have a purpose, which I learned once I moved here. Um, I actually do own a pair of clogs now, and I really love them. They're comfortable. Brand dictionary is a little different. Patagonia, Marmot. Uh, SoCal work environment, very different. Um, work usually from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., usually in the office because they fed me for free, so I could afford to live there. Um, lovely view of smog from your office, awesome. I actually telecommute here, which most people do. <laughs> you have to get a job, get fully dressed. Um, lots of times if you're on a video conference, you forget and get up. Not a wise idea. Uh, limit full-scale conversations with your dog. SoCal pets. Um, pets are really accessories in LA. I don't really know anybody that has a micro pig or a kinkajou. Uh, this guy's a dog is named Princess Coco Bean. I don't know anybody here that has a dog named that. Um, so if you move to Bend, you gotta actually get a respectable pet. Uh, Rosie and Gertie, gotta love them. Greta, gotta get a athletic breed. Sign up for agility training quick because there's a waiting list. Invisible dog, dog fence, gotta have sturdy dog names like Rocky or Bear. P Princess Coco Bean doesn't work. Um, gotta have gear. I didn't realize you need gear living here. I didn't really have any gear in LA except for a beach cruiser and rollerblades. And the beach cruiser was actually motorized, so. I don't think that really counted. Um, I didn't realize that there are actually three different types of kayaks before I moved here, that there was just one. Uh, it's a picture of our garage, sorry. <laughs> My husband's very proud of the garage. Uh, snowboards or skis, bikes, three different types of bikes too, who knew? Um, and then wheels, very important. In Southern California, it's either prestige or what I would call style cars, BMW or a hoopty. Gotta have the suspension that raises and lowers. Uh, but when I moved to ba uh, Bend, I realized that you actually need a rig. Never had a rig before. Uh, you need lots of racks. You need something called a rocket box, which I probably not even spelling that right. Uh, space to haul all of your gear, and even space to sleep, which I never had really considered before. Um, and then workouts. You know, running the stairs in Santa Monica was big. They love anything that's sexy. So like cardio strip tease, S-factor workout. Anything that you can beat the shit out of after you drive through traffic for 45 minutes. And then, literally, I've learned since I moved to Bend and dropped almost 10% in body fat since I moved here that really, like, if you're not getting a full body spasm or can't walk afterward, <laughs> you're probably not getting a good workout. I literally almost killed myself in workout classes here. Housing. This is a million dollar home in Los Angeles. You're not gonna live anywhere but in the valley. You cannot afford to live anywhere else. This is the house you'll be living in until you're about 80 years old, and even then you won't have it paid for. Uh, this is what you can get in Bend for a million dollars. It's all lodge style, unless you live downtown, and then you can hope to get a bungalow. Um, and one of the things I learned that's really important is to make actual eye contact with your neighbors, which I lived in LA for 15 years, never knew one of my neighbors. This is a Southern California garage. I'm not really even sure why you need a garage in Southern California but it has to be really organized and perfect and people actually hire people to put this whole garage together for you. This actually isn't a picture of my garage in Southern California, but sorry, this is our garage. My husband actually did an amazing job in our garage and it's really clean for Ben Garage, but you have to have racks for all your gear, you have to have space for a boat or a snowmobile, um, but after that, you're probably not gonna have space to park your car anymore, which is what we had a problem with. Um, Southern California friends, this is a typical outfit for going out in Southern California. I don't think I've ever worn this in Bend. Um, everything kind of revolves around eating and events and Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero is huge. Uh, 
friends in Bend. This is a picture of our really epic trip down the Middle Fork. Uh, everyone's going to be better than everything at you. You're going to be scared shitless all the time. And you better learn to love local brews and PBRs. And I just want to say thanks to my local family here. <laughs> and my husband, thanks for bringing me to Bend. <laughs>